I'm my mentor. <laughs> Let's start with a fun fact. Did you know that game developer, client engineer, and front-end engineer are all the same roles? Yeah? Me neither. Hi, I'm Katja. I am a game developer at Nordius. When you hear about a front-end engineer, also known as game developer, you may think it's a work based on web technologies and related to game art and graphic design, but at Nordius, that's not the case at all. A game developer is actually not that different from any other software engineer role, except it has some specifics, which for me makes it super fun. Using Unity, we get to explore our creative side and implement all the amazing user interactions faces you see, for example, in Top 11. This is the aspect of my job that I absolutely love. Besides implementing UI, the majority of game developers' job is to actually implement the logic behind that UI. The goal is to provide our players with the best user experience, regardless of the device they're using. I think there is a great misconception regarding front-end engineers and back-end engineers. People think that all we do is play with some shapes and pictures, but that is not the case at all. Just like back-end engineers, we also use object-oriented programming and develop complex game logic. Depending on a specific game and feature, the complexity can differ. Sometimes it is heavier on the back-end side and sometimes it is heavier on the front-end side. As a game developers, we implement game features in Unity using c -sharp programming language, while as a back-end engineers, we use Java and PostgreSQL. Even though someone would say this is a great difference, it is not really. I am a strong believer that technologies do not make engineers, the fundamentals do. Also, during the interview process, as a candidate, you are free to use object-oriented programming language of your choice. Game developers write code that execute on the device, while back-end engineers write code that execute on a cloud. Having that in mind, problems that the game developers face are usually related to device constraints, like CPU, GPU, and memory. While back-end engineers, especially the ones that work on Top 11, face skill-related problems, given the fact that Top 11 has a lot of active users. Uh, working on a live product requires a lot of collaboration between the teams. In the process of designing a new game feature, first we collaborate with game designers. As a game developer, I give my input on the design, which then game designers have in mind. We iterate on the design steps until we are satisfied with the result. Next comes the prototype or the implementation step. Here, we get to closely work with the user interface and user experience designers. And also at this step, we get to collaborate with the back-end engineers, defining the communication that will happen between back-end and front-end side. While the implementation is in progress, we are constantly collaborating with quality assurance engineers, keeping them posted about uh, any novelty in the game or any potential risks our changes may have. Once the implementation is completed, we have play sessions. This is a time when people from different teams and different roles all come together and give valuable feedback to what we have developed. And finally, once our changes hit production, we are in constant communication with our amazing community team, who keep us posted about sentiment our players have to the features we've developed. Other roles we collaborate with are uh, localization specialists, product managers, producers, and so on. Given the fact that I had no prior experience working in Unity, I expected my onboarding process to include hours of tutorials and no actually coding for at least a month. But that was not the case at all. The onboarding process felt really well thought out to me. I had a plan for each week that I was following together with my manager and my mentor. First came the pair programming iterations, where I had the opportunity to own smaller efforts until I became more independent and could care carry out bigger features by myself. My mentor was not only onboarding me to the Top 11 project, but also helping me become a better engineer overall, reviewing the work I've done, giving constant feedback on how I can become a better version of myself. Through the whole process, I also had the support of my amazing team. They were always there to help me whenever I had any questions or difficulties with my tasks. And not only did they provide me with an answer, they always made sure I understood the bigger picture 
by giving me a broader explanation. Lastly, but certainly not least, I was blown away by the fact that I had a dedicated manager whose part of a job was helping me with my growth and career plan. What I enjoyed the most about my job, besides the obvious things like people I work with, is that possibilities for learning and growth are endless. I also love that I get the chance to play with my creativity. Creating UI using Unity is extra fun to me. I feel like uh, I have a task to solve a puzzle whenever I'm trying to fit all the elements players need to see in one component. Also, getting to play games as part of your job is not a bad responsibility to have at all.